Good morning. I'm on Friday. Like to say the end of another week. Well, it is the end. We used to be in the walking week, but not anymore. One day it just merges into the other. Don't really know. Times I've got to check to see what day it is. But the sun is shining. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of tidied up sticks to a point. Actually, we've been kind of busy over the past little while. Um, I was quite surprised myself. And the legs getting better. I don't think it's ever going to be alright, but it's better. That'll do. We'll settle for that, like, you know. Uh, excuse me while I take a little puff here. It should be coffee or something stronger, but oh dear. Not, not just an hour. I've kept the morphine just in case. Good grace, he says. Get rid of that morphine now. <laughs> so I'll just keep that there. You never know. It's <laughs> good stuff. Um, so I've kept it. I don't know if it's got a, a use by date, but we'll see. I'll shift that out of the way. In fact, I put it out because it's very uns unsocial nowadays to be smoking. At one time, when I was a boy, everybody smoked. Uh, it was the least of your worries. Or at least your parents worried about you smoking because everybody, everybody smoked just about. It was unusual to find somebody who didn't smoke. But nowadays I'm afraid it's the other way. It's the first question they ask you. Some ways you're the doctors or whatever. Smoke. Just a bit. <laughs> but yes, we've been sorting out the sticks and doing a bit of walking, getting back on and about. It's uh, and it's sore going, but we're getting there. But the other day there, I was, uh, I got a lovely bit of holly. This, by the way, is, is nice. It's nice a bit, as I've seen for a while. It's partially dead. Uh, strong enough, strong enough, but, uh, which means I should be able to get working on it a bit quicker uh, but I think by the time this is finished I'll peel it take it off clean it all up this will be the minister's stick I think or the shank for it anyway and we'll do the old holly holly and ivy um, and that'll work alright I think uh, I'm not sure just what to put on the top yet we'll see man um, We'll get the stick cleaned off at some point. Do a little bit on that and that'll be fine. Right? But uh, I was working on, I've got, as I say, I've got these ones, but that, that was a horn beam. That, uh, I'm still not finished it yet, but I've worked a little bit on it and brought it down, as you can see. Um, I'll get around to that one. This this is what I'm going to do. This is, uh, this is a bit, the handle's a bit of you. And it's a bit of root, you root. Now I'm always on the lookout for it because when this is finished and sanded down and present, it's the most beautiful red colour. It's a red, deep red and veined and it's really, really nice. There's one or two I've made with. It's getting the right piece. It's difficult to but you hunt around and uh, I'm fortunate where I stay that there's a big estate on my doorstep and uh, there's lots of stuff from way gone past and time gone past and so and it takes a long time you in particular it's just about impossible to kill but if it does get totally blown and, and knackered to, and no root touching at all it will die off and but it lasts the, the stump, the root, will last for years and years. So I'm always on the hunt for. So uh, this, I think, when it's done, will be really nice. Uh, uh, yeah, um, I do like it. It's always it's amazing what makes a a good a good handle at times. As I said before, just when you're out there, see it, cut it, uh, which I did yesterday. Was it yesterday, the day before? Uh, and so, the 
cut the, there's two of them here, one of a thumbstick and one a handle. But this is quite nice, this clock clock this out of this is a bit of ivy. Uh, and really I shouldn't have it. I'm gonna to have to put it somewhere it'll season just a bit slower, slowly. It doesn't do to be sitting in the sunshine, which I tend to forget at times I leave things bouncing about in here. And of course when the sun hits this in the day it's yeah, it can be something else, so put it somewhere a little bit cooler. Um, but I do like that. Uh, clocked that one the other day there, hobbled across and chucked in about it and cut it out. Uh, I did a collection of them, as I said before, I've got stuff in there. Will I'll ever get into it, I don't really know. I, I just keep adding to it. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. Um, but it's a horse, a carriage driving this weekend on the, on the, on the, in the deer park, so I've been invited down. I come every year. And uh, Prince Philip started it away many years ago. He doesn't come anymore. He's, he's, uh, he doesn't do that kind of thing. He's too old for that now. But he used to come every year and stay with uh, Lord Hope and Lord Lomithcoe, uh Adrian, and uh, take part in it. And actually, when you watch them, and the obstacle but it's the bit I enjoy most is, is watching them driving. They do two, fours and I'm not really sure what they do. But anyway, it's good to watch. And the skill, the tremendous skill these people to, to be able to do that. Uh, and uh, it can be enjoyable and on a day like this. It's no hardship standing and leaning over something and watching a bit of it going on like you know. But uh, as I say, he used to come many years ago. Uh, and uh, take part, but uh, but it's still a, it's still a busy, busy thing. Right? So uh, uh, I meet the same people. So when they're setting it all up, I meet them year by year, really. Uh, so <laughs> well, I can, uh, you're still joking about, yeah, yeah, I'm still joking about, yeah. So, uh, but uh, I'll pop down so maybe and uh, see what's see what's happening. But I've. Going to stop the sticks just for a moment. I've uh, taken an interest in something else actually. Mono printing. I've been watching one or two of these videos on YouTube. And uh, I set up a little jig there yesterday. I watched how they were doing it and whatnot. And so I've uh, done a little jig and uh, I'm busy trying it out. So. I've got it set up outside, the sun's really shining, there's not too much wind I'm going to go for it and, that, and add to it. This one didn't really, that was a colour one that didn't really, I wasn't happy with that one at all. This one, actually, was alright, it turned out okay that one. But, as I say, these are the first couple I've made with it. Um, so it's, it's something else that interests me. <laughs> I've got the stuff there that I can use. I found uh, somebody doing it with acrylic paints rather than inks. I've got inks, but I've not got the right kind of inks. But um, I found somebody doing it with acrylic paints, so it seems to work all right. So, but we're going to um, have a notion for the standing stones. Is this one I, I did? Um, I just about it. Put, I've changed. They do it a slightly different way. I've said it. Because of the mess I'll get in, I've, I've done it a little bit different. And I've not got the hang of it all yet, and I've not got how to. But, as I say, it's early days, but this in particular I really like, uh, and I wish I could remember this was the, the first one I did. And uh, I wish I could remember exactly what I did to achieve it. I remember bits of it, but um, when I see that, I see I think gravestones really, I think, and then, but <laughs> it's symbolic, you never know, kind of. Uh, but standing stones, I went, oh, do something with the standing stones, all this kind of things in vogue nowadays, uh, standing stones, you know. And I'm reminded of a, a story oh, years ago, I was at the top of uh, Ken Papel, Ken Papel, old guy, 
Ej, jeg er nede i Tiberium. Jeg er stående i Tiberium. Jeg er ikke mindre, når jeg er herude her. Men det var tydeligt der. Og det var bare lukken rundt om det. Det var ikke forkæsentlig, hvis du var for en historisk skov, og hvis du var for det. Og jeg har været der spændt mig her. Happy day and keeping a company up there, like you know, it's a lovely spot overlooking. We used to have a there's only one tree that was there on the, the side of it. It's a bit windswept, bit. And people came from all over the, the world to see this. Uh, and on the tree, they used to tie bits of ribbon, bits of this, and something like you see in these Nepalese things and like prayer things and whatnot. And obviously, there was a significance to it all. <laughs> and that one time, we found it had been cut down. Historic scroll and didn't like that, I didn't like that. <laughs> Cut it down, I went, oh gee, where's <laughs> uh, what did you say? So anyway, but I was standing this day and uh, there were two or three Americans there, like, you know, and, and of course they were busy exploring each other. And in the distance, they could see a set of standing stones. And they said to me, excuse me, what site's that over there? They said to me. I says, oh, I says, that's, that's a, another, that's a historic site. A historic site? They said, oh, yes. I says, what, what do they call that? I says, that's Knock Hill. The Knock Hill. I says, Knock Hill Farm. I says, you're looking up there, that's an old, part of an old volcano, which was a Knock Hill. And to the side there was a Knock Hill Farm. And uh, it belonged to Jimmy Potter, who had a construction company at one time. Oops, really nice guy, Jimmy. And uh, I says, oh, what's the significance there with the stones? I says, that was for his son's 21st birthday. He put up, he done that for him for his 21st birthday. He put up 21 standing stones in the field just opposite the farm, a small area and whatnot. Do you think they would mind if we went up and photographed it? I said, I don't suppose so. I said, I said what to do is don't park in the actual park at the side. I said, no, I don't suppose Jimmy will say anything about it. I said, that's really interesting. I said, but they had actually thought it was a prehistoric and he said, no, it's not that like it all okay. time. Uh, so, but I haven't seen Jimmy for a while, so I normally still kind of might not be kicking about, I don't really know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm round there very often now, okay? But anyway, we shall leave it at that. Stuck a wee photograph on it at the start. See it sticks. I mean, a sales director. <laughs> Doing something, okay? Anyway, have a good day. We shall go out in the sunshine and uh, do wondrous things. Okay? All the best. Cheers.